Girl, and welcome to another video over set meshes. And in this video, we're not going to talk much about over set meshes. This is more about the your, your computer architecture. In particular, you have one of these processors, you know, the hybrid architecture. There are many of them. There are newer ones, you know, the 14,000 series and so on. But pretty much uh, the idea here with these processors is that they are divided. You have performance cores as an efficiency core. So as you look at here, and actually have 24 cores now, which is a lot for a computer, for a portable computer. So the idea here is that eight cores, they're at the high clock speed, and then you have 16 cores with the low clock speed. So you can use it for some other, let's say, tasks that they don't have a lot of priority, although they don't require social resources. But this can be a problem. You know? As you can imagine, we're running fluent up and from whatever. And if it happens that that, that process use this efficiency core, it is going to be incredibly slow, whatever you're doing. Oh, and these efficiency cores, they have a very low clock speed, like half the, the average or the normal clock speed of the performance cores, okay? So you have to be very careful. So I was quite excited when I got this computer because it was, okay, 24 cores and so on. And then I realized that there are many problems. Actually, we created some other videos just to explain this, but here we'll go into the specific with this case. So be very careful, okay? Let me show you how to, to avoid that problem or try to avoid this problem. Like, let's say what I'm going to show you works 98% of the time. Then you have that 2%, that larger application that sometimes may happen. And honestly, at this point, I don't know why it happens. I haven't been able to explain that, but hopefully one day I will find a solution. So let's do something. Okay. So have in mind that this is my, my computer. I have this, this course and here I have my task manager and i already know that in my computer the first two rows these rows here this course and let me go that the first 16 cores that you i have it is separate treated by the way remember that this is top cfd user is not hyper treated but this first two rows corresponds to the rows uh of my performance course and then the other 16s these are deficiency cores okay so the efficiency they are not hyper treated these are hyper treated so if you count hyper treated and everything you have 32 cores so the idea is that whatever I launch i want to have it here because this is my my, my high high, high my, my high clock speed course so let's see how we can do that. So in the previous video, I already showed you that my advice when you launch Fluent or OpenFoil, whatever, try to launch that as an administrator, have high priority. So that is the first trick. And I have to say that that works most of the time, in this case, 95% of the time, then there are some outlier cases that you need to add an extra trick, which we arrive to that 98%. And then there is a 2% that I cannot explain what is happening. So let me run as an, an administrator. So when you run as an administrator, immediately you are having uh, you are having a high priority in that in this task. So high priority means that the operating system will try to accommodate everything here in your perform performance course. Okay. So it is called there is something called Intel Threat Director that is in charge of that. So this, this problem, by the way, you're going to have it in any computer with this architecture. It doesn't matter if you are using HP, Dell, Razer, or, or in my case, I'm using Asus Pro R. It doesn't matter. You are going always to have it. And just to mention that I'm running in Windows, but I know in Linux, I tested and in Linux, this problem is even worse. I read that the new kernel that you have in Linux, they improved that. I haven't tested the new kernel, but yeah, this is a problem that you have there. And I, I will guess that is you managed to get it in Apple, that Apple also, you have similar hybrid architecture. You're going to have that because the operating system doesn't know where to put that task unless you force that, like we're doing here, kind of. I will force that that task to 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 be into the, into the performer course because I'm running as an administrator. So the idea is that if you run this task as an administrator, means that it is something important. Uh, to mention something, so let me go here in this realization that sometimes might happen that you run as administrator, you are checking your clock speed. So I always open this power manager, have it there because it may happen that even if you're running as administrator, it will go a low clock speed. So if that is happening, just close the application and relaunch. 
from time to time it might happen and let me go here and i'll launch okay it doesn't matter the task okay we're running the the the, the overset stuff and now that i'm running here i can see immediately that the task is running using the performance course i know that it's okay and here you can see now your monitors that you have everything uh something else important let me close here you need to have uh, look also for that power auction so this battery settings that we're going i'm going to show you another another trick there so in this case i'm helping okay it is running i have my high but well, look at that now it went down okay so these are the stuff that sometimes happen and in this case let me see that might be the problem sometimes when you open some auctions like that so in this case i open the power settings and look at how strange is this okay you have it there and let me look all again here power open this stuff here i put it there and kind of the operating system it will try to give priority to this task and it will send the other background so now we still have it but see that it's it's going down and so so there are, sometimes you have those those small issues so my advice if you're going to run fluid in this stuff try to have everything as clean as possible don't do anything else so it's a chain as right? you have one computer yeah so you're going to browse uh, that would be a problem so look at that i'm happy here run as administrator it is okay i minimize the window and now this is interesting look at that i minimize the window and boom immediately i can see that it, it went down now it's going up but kind of is trying to change to the efficiency core so it will look like okay this is not anymore a priority task because you minimize it should be also high priority always a high priority but kind of if moving that trying to go to the uh, to the efficiency core and that might be a problem so trick also try to have this stuff this task always maximize do not minimize even if you are as an administrator sometimes can happen and also even funnier that is you put in front of that window another window it might happen that it will give priority to this task and the other one it will send it not to the efficiency core so here kind of i see that the processor the is, is struggling kind of switching from one to the other so here it went down and then it's going up so kind of is trying to balance okay the, everything among you know, the, the task among the course but you can see there but now if you minimize this one it will stay in the high clock speed so these are small details that since that you should be <laughs> aware of and honestly it took me a lot of time to 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 get no to realize that all these auctions and it was really frustrating and almost sent back the computer because everything was running super slow so now the other trick that you have here okay so this is you you have run as, as administrator have this window also in the foreground so you put it in background sometimes can give you problems and the other one trick that you have here is this one that you can go here and here you have this power mode so it might happen sometimes that this one by default will will be in efficiency mode if you put it in efficiency immediately your clock speed will go down okay so i know many other configurations computers that they put it by default in efficiency to save energy and whatever and look at that here you are in three gigahertz but it is slow then i go to best performance okay so in best performance immediately see how it goes up and it can reach up to 4.8 your fan also will go crazy and I like to have it in balance, okay? Balance, it will, will stay there, 4.3, probably sometimes will go down a little bit. So it's up to you. So as you know that you're going to do just a simulation and if it is not a very hot day in summer, just put it there, best performance, try to balance also with the with the fan to put it high and to, to keep your computer cool. But this this is it, no? So here you have this other, other trick here and at this point well everything is running fine okay so let me stop this one and now to show you the other issue okay so this is running as administrator as you should run always so launch your task administrator probably pay 
play with this auction here and also monitor here that if you see a strange behavior that is the clock speed is stay low close the application and, and relaunch so now let me go exactly the same but I'm running as a mortal user. I didn't use administrator action. And let's see what happens in this case. So we should expect the same behavior, but no, we're going to have very weird behavior. And okay, so interesting that these applications like Fluent, Open Phones, and other CFD solvers, Star CCN. You're going to have this problem. Instead, if you run applications like Blender, post -process, stuff like that, no cat applications, the operating system knows that that requires uh, a lot of resources. Maybe a thing is related also with the GPU. Is that application will also use all the GPU? I think it will recognize automatically that it needs priority in your, all resources. Instead, this stuff doesn't use the GPU unless you enable that option or to always uh to always uh bind this to the gpu that you can do by the way windows so let's go so that there is another trick now always when you launch this application put the gpu so i guess will be something here that I, if i will recall gpu blah, 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 blah. graphics set, settings and somewhere here you can say now what applications wrong with the gpu okay so these custom actions and so on. Uh, bam, 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 bam. Let me go here, initialize, and let's run. So remember that now I'm a mortal. I don't have administrator rights. I don't have high priority whatsoever. So if I go here, open this, and it is running. But look at that. It is running. The clock speed is low. Okay, so the operating system is seeing that, okay, this task, it is in background, doesn't, it is minimized, then you have something, you're looking at something else, I should give a higher priority to the other task. But if I maximize this now, I put it here, okay, eventually, look at that, now it's going to higher speed. So this is... Remember, I don't have, I didn't launch as administrator. So now if I minimize, it will go back to the low frequency. So you, you will have this peak in frequency. No, that, that is, those are those turbo boosts, whatever. It's going down as you maximize, it's go, go, it will go up. And even funnier, <laughs> this is really funny. If I put now that window in front of that one, it will stay low. Also, is you have your screensaver activated and the screensaver kit in, boom, it will go down. And look at it now, it's going really, really, will it start from time to time, will kit, kit in high frequency, but then it will go the average, it will, will, will stay a low value here. And this will, as you can imagine, will slow down everything. So you have there the trick, launch everything as administrator. Another trick that also, might work, might not. You go here, always in the task manager, in details, and you can look for that specific task. Now, let me do I know that flow and whatever I'm running this one. You right click here and you have priority. So you can force those tasks to have high priority. Okay. So sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. I don't know why it should work. Now, so you can force this priority. And when you force this priority, okay, it will, it will use those performance scores. So basically in theory, when you run as administrator, kind of this is what you're, you're doing. Okay, so let's see the here what is happening. So yeah, it kind of is staying now enforcing and since that is staying now uh, there. Another trick that I don't use very often, it's tricky to do it actually, is that you can force the affinity, the core affinity. So basically you have all your cores here and you can say, okay, force the task just to, to, to bind to this processor. So I know this, this corresponds up to 15, corresponds to my performance cores. So you click in each processor and, and you just force everything to bind to those and that's, Sometimes helps, not always. Uh, as you see, as you can see, it's tricky. It's, you have 60 cores, you need to do it 60 times. So, but you can script everything and 
get your way around. But look at that here, it still is not working very well. So you always the best way to do kit everything there in your front window and you will be sure that it would, the operating system is going to give preference. And then if you can afford that, go into power. Now, as you are not sleeping next to the computer, put it there, best performance. And best performance, it will also force everything to have the, the highest clock speed. Okay, but best way, run as administrator. So at this point, I think you have a point, uh, an idea what is happening. Uh, always monitor this. Now, even if you have this trick, sometimes it might happen for whatever reason that I don't know. It may happen that that process can switch to the efficiency course and that will slow down everything. Something else that, as well, the idea of benchmarking as well, try to run out. You have the eight performer cores, you know, the ones that go at like high clock speed, and then you have this one. I, I, I try to run also using all the cores, you know, the 16 efficiency, no parallelization. You cannot do it with the student version. I have the the other professional one and I managed to, to, I did it. And honestly, you don't gain much by using all these efficiency cores. So usually when I have this, I run, I use all my eight cores and then I use just eight efficiency cores. If I go from eight to 16, I don't gain much. Okay. And then probably you are, you know, uh, you're reducing the resources for other other tasks that you might be doing. So my advice, use all your performance. And if you want to use all sufficiency, do not use more than eight, at least in my, in my case, do not use 50, more than 50% of your efficiency. So in my case, I stay just with eight and eight performance. Okay. So this was fluent. And just to show you for the sake, uh, that the same happens with Fluent. So remember that I'm running Fluent using uh, Power, uh, using Windows existing Linux. So let me launch my PowerShell here. And something in, interesting here that when you launch this PowerShell here, usually you're going to have uh, high priority. So let me go here and to show you that. So I say usually because sometimes it might happen that you don't have it. So always monitor your resources. So let me show you here. So look at that. I, I didn't you run as administrator. You can launch this as administrator, but usually it will it will launch with high priority. So let me go here, overset and overset there, overset there, and let me run this case. So here, let's do the same mesh everything. So. I will advise always maximize everything and there off you go. Now it is running. And if I look here, okay, let's see that it's going to clock speed. I, and let me put it here. I minimize and look at that. You stay at four hertz or gigahertz. So maybe, maybe it's not giving priority and actually just to make it clear also that I have the clock speed that is going up and down and so on because also I'm running and recording. You know? I'm running can use Contasia and the operating system is also trying to 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 balance everything, you not know, between Fluent and so on. So if when I don't use Contasia, clearly I I don't see this uh that, that the clock speed going down like here. But you can see now that you have that it's working. You have the that the. Uh, the same behavior as fluent, but here you have the tendency not to have the uh, to 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 have high priority. And also, but always monitor. Be careful. Check that you your ta your 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 process is always running here. You now the the clock speed where you have the high frequency. Same trick here. You can go best performance. So it was already in best performance. So and you have it there. Uh, something interesting here, as I show you, is you minimize this is not going to affect or usually on most of the time doesn't affect, but something interesting as well that I like to launch Fluent to avoid all these problems. I also like to launch Fluent here from the PowerShell. So let me remind you that to do that. So you can go, you have here, instead of clicking there and going administrator to have more, you know, even higher priority, I like to go like this and you have the pass there, put it there. And this is 
one of those annoying things to put you no know, this white space and give you problems. So you need to put it into double quotes. So put up ampersand there and press enter and you launch fluent. And now when you launch fluent, you are launching from here that you have a high priority. So likely also it, the the operating system now will, will instruct you now to to give a high priority to this task. So this is actually how I like to do it now. But well, depends what you are doing or what you do. Uh, okay, so hope you have an idea what is happening. Also, would like to mention that I also run using VMware. I have it here. I'm not going to show you. And VMware is exactly the same problem. So VMware, remember to launch as an administrator. Okay, so when you launch in that, right click and run as administrator. Otherwise, you're going to have this problem. So you have there run as administrator. Otherwise, you launch and everything will be in the efficiency course. And even if you launch using the performance core, uh, it's quite fun. You know, you launch as administrator, you force to have the performance course. And then when you, you are inside Linux, I'm not going to show you, you can test it now here and you minimize the window, the terminal window where you have open from running. It's quite funny that like everything is going to switch to, to the efficiency course. It's extremely strange that behavior. So be careful about that. So another reason why I prefer you no know, Windows system Linux, you have everything. So yeah, that's all that I wanted to show you regarding this. So be careful about this, especially you know, as you have this kind of hybrid architecture. So thank you for your attention. See you next time. Bye.